Hello friends and let's have a look at the D-Link DSL2877AL router. This router supports 802.11 AC standard, which delivers blazing fast speed with increased range and reliability. It uses the dual band technology which can render speeds up to 750 Mbps. But of course you need the wireless AC dual card to achieve those kind of speeds. You can have a look at our AC dual cards on the D-Link website. The router ships with 3 years warranty, 5 dBi long range antenna and 4000 volts lightning protection. So let's look at the back of the box. On the left side we find the port information and information regarding the device. On the right side we see a comparison chart regarding the AC technology. So let's open the box and have a look at the contents. Once we open the box, we will find the installation CD, the quick installation guide and the warranty information. So there's our router. This router has three antennas and you'll see an orange seal which you'll have to remove to expose the ports. After you take off the seal, you'll find out four LAN ports and a DSL port. That's the router. You'll also find a DSL splitter, an Ethernet cable, a DSL cable, and the power adapter. So let's start with the connections. First of all, let's take the power cable and insert it into the power port. Then we have our internet service provider cable, the RJ11, which will insert into the DSL port. And then we have our ethernet cable, which will insert into any of the LAN ports. And the other end of the ethernet cable goes into the ethernet port on your computer. Let's power the device on. So once you power your device on, you'll see the LED is being lit, especially the power LED. After that comes the DSL LED, which is currently blinking. It usually takes a while to synchronize with your internet service provider. Once you are connected to the internet, the internet LED will be lit. The blinking LAN LED indicates that your ethernet cable is connected to that specific LAN port. If you look at the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz LEDs, it indicates that the router is operating on these two frequency bands. As you know, this is a dual band router. And the last LED is USB. So let's open up the web browser and enter our router's IP address. That's 192.168.1.1. This will lead us to the router's settings. So when you are prompted with this page, you have to enter your username as well as your password as admin. Those are the default settings for the device and then click login. So you'll be prompted with a quick summary of the steps involved in the setup process. Click on next. This is when you'll get the first step where you have to set the date and time. So you can get your device automatically update its time by connecting it to a time server. I'll enter my time server's address. You can either use the same address or use another time server of your own choosing. In the next section, you can select your time zone and enable or disable daylight saving. After you're done, click next. So on this page, you will be entering your internet settings. We start with selecting our country, then select your internet service provider from the drop down menu. Once you select your provider, your protocol will be automatically set. As for me, it is PPPoE. And once I'm done with that, I'll enter the username and password that is provided to me by my service provider. So if you're not sure about any of these details, you can get in touch with your service provider and ask for them. So I'll enter my password again as provided to me by my service provider. I confirm the password and click on next. So this page allows you to set up your 2.4 GHz wireless network. You can set up a network name of your own liking or you can keep it the same. You can also select a security type. 
which will also let you set up a password. So I'm changing the name to my liking and setting up the security type to WPA2 since it is supposed to be one of the strongest security types. So you can select a password of your own choice. And this password is the one which we'll be using to connect any subsequent devices to this particular network. So click on next. And you'll see a similar configuration page. The only difference is here you configure your 5 gigahertz wireless network. You can follow the same steps. You can change your username, set up a new password, or you can even simply disable the 5 gigahertz network by unchecking this box and then click on next. So on this page, you will be presented with a summary of all the settings that you have made till now. You can just go through them once and click finish. So once you're done, uh, you'll be guided to this main page where you can click the status tab and check out the status of your connection. And as you can see, you are connected to a public IP address, which indicates that you're connected to the internet. But just to be sure, let's go to the D-Link website and check whether our internet connection is working. And yes, we are connected to the internet. So for connecting any of your other devices to this wireless network, you just have to find the name of your network, open it, and enter the password which you have just set. And click join. And your device will be then connected to the internet. So this is how you set up the DSL2877AL wireless router.